So we've looked at our acoustic, we've gone ahead and EQ'd it, and um, it was a pretty good sounding acoustic. I'm a fan because I play acoustic. Let's talk about compression on acoustic a little bit. Um, Got to be really careful, you can kill an acoustic performance with a compressor, but uh, more often than not, a good rule to follow is try and control the pick sound. Now, picks are pretty um, higher in frequency when they attack a string, so you're talking about much shorter transients, so you want to compensate appropriately when you're doing your compression. Fast uh, attack and a very fast release uh, with a pretty aggressive ratio to get on and off quickly. So let's go ahead and hear what uh, that might sound like in the way that I normally compress an acoustic. making a judgment call whether or not I want to emphasize the bounce or I want to get rid of the pick. So that's getting rid of the pick. That's the bounce. Hear the difference? Let's go with the pick. And if we're going to go with the pick, let's go ahead and listen to how we can better focus in on the pick sound. That's our cue, so our, our key, so we're listening to the key. Let's go ahead and take the, the listen off and compress it. Now more of the performance is coming through, but the compressor's working on just the pick area. When the pick gets really hard, the compressor works harder. But maybe if he's playing softer or more toward the neck, the compressor's not working as hard. Let's give it some uh, gain back. Okay. Let's go ahead and take it out and have a listen. Compressor out. Came back to match a bit better. Put it in. And here out just the front end of it smooths out a little. Out. A lot more attack on that. Let's put it back in. A bit smoother. That's all we need. Let's add back in our vocals and our drums and how it sits in there nicer and doesn't have to poke through and be really aggressive. 